It's Ken with MrTruck.com. I'm always looking for the best accessories out there that'll help you in your trailering needs. And you've seen me talk about Bolt before, and they make a lot of different locks. I've got some for my trailer coupler. I've got them for my padlocks for my toy hauler door. I've got them for cable locks that I use to wrap around my ATVs and tie them together. And today we're talking about a receiver coupler pin. You can see that there. It's all the same philosophy. This part here, you stick your ignition key in there and twist it and it reads your ignition key. Then you don't have to have a hundred keys like I've got now. You can just use the one. And this is really cool and they've got them for about every models out there. They've got them for early GMs, late GMs, center cut GMs, Toyota, Nissan, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, the Ford, two of them for Fords. So they can get the one that'll fit your truck. And that sure makes life easier. And this is a heavy duty pin. This is a 5H receiver pin. And it's a lock, weatherproof. And I've been using these for years, all this stuff. And I actually requested these. This is like the only thing I didn't have. It's got a lifetime warranty. And they're pretty cool. Just stick that ignition in there and you open up the little flap. That's what keeps it all clean. And I'm going to show you that. I'm going to put one of these together and put it on one of my really nice Gen Y hitches. It's a torsion flex. And that's what you want to lock these for because people will steal them. If you got a little Walmart ball, they may not steal it. But I use good, <laughs> good hitches. I think Gen Y are the best ones out there. And, you know, that's, that's a torsion flex, so it actually isolates the truck and the trailer. And those things are like 500 bucks. So I don't want to have that stolen. And I don't have to wait to get another one in. So I'm going to show you that. Locking actually torsion flex on my receiver hitch. And I'm going to show you, you know, using another one of these to hold my ball in. I don't want to lose my balls. And this is a two-step two ball there from Gen Y. It's got a two and five sixteenths on one side and a two inch on the other. So let me open up the package. This is a package opening video. <laughs> and then we will get started. Actually, these are pretty easy. They just have the little tab on top. I've done this before. So I actually can do this without scissors or a knife. Oh, there they go. Parts are flying everywhere. Now you don't want to be dropping these on the sand because this has a grease in there to keep it lasting forever. It's got a cap on top where you get your ignition key. You gotta take this little tab off. And that's cool. And these look like stainless steel pins. I should probably look it up, but that's a thick, that's a 5 8 pin. That's pretty thick. Let's see if it tells me if it's a stainless steel pin. It sure looks like it. Strategic makes a bolt. And it's pretty awesome. The one I'm using here is, of course, the Ford key. And it's for class three and four and five. So this will go to any hitch you want, which is really good. And it uh, makes it very convenient. And you want to always lock up these hitches because they're not cheap anymore, especially the big adjustable ones like I use. So. All I have to do to this, hope you can see that, and you take off the little plastic tab, and then there's a little rubber. See the little rubber thing in there? You just take that out, you cut that out with your finger. And then now you can see there's a key lock. And that's all you do, is you stick the key in there, like that, and then you twist it and then you untwist it. Yeah, you twist it and then you untwist it. And now I should be able to lock this with my key. See all my cool tools here? Shove this puppy in there. And now it's all the way in. You can see that's all the way in. 5 8 shaft, that's nice. And of course it's locked on there. It's locked on there, it won't come off. It fits in that groove. And I stick my key in the hole. And you twist the key and then you pull it off. Isn't that cool? Don't go away, Mr. Truck.TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's all you do. 
you twist the key and voila it comes on and then you can this is how all their systems work which i really like these are cool now i'm going to show you i'm going to put them on the hitch and i'll hook the receiver up down below here in just a minute and now you're just going to see my hands because that's all i need to make this work we're going to take the pin which you've seen a few times now just a simple pin I'm going to slide it through as if I put it on the receiver of the truck, and I will put them on the receiver of the truck. But there you go, nice big 5 8 stainless steel pin. And then I'm going to take you know, the same plug you've seen. I'm taking the rubber end off so you can see the key ignition. This is the part that goes on the bolt, and you just shove it into the bolt. Boom, there it is. Now it's locked. Now all I have to do is take the key, my ignition key, and twist it. There you go, I twisted it. It comes off. Isn't that simple? It's all the ignition key. None of that other messing around with looking for all your keys all the time. I love this system. It's great. Let's see. And on the other end, now let's try and do a close-up of the pin. And that's all you do is you stick the lock on the pin. And now it's locked. And you got this cap. You can cover the hole up, keep the dirt and dust out of it. I'm here in the sand hill, so we get all kinds of dirt and dust. And to unlock it, so simple. You just stick your ignition key in there and twist it. <laughs> I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. These are great from Bolt. Now I'm gonna put it on the actual truck so you can see that. Okay, you can see the pin there sticking through the receiver hitch of the truck, and there's my safety chain hooks right behind that. But now all I gotta do is push the lock onto this 5/8 pin. And there it is, it's locked. Close the cap, and I'm good to go. And this will work on this is on the Ford application. Of course, you got the Chevy and the Ram and Toyota and Nissan. This will go on a you know 150, a 250, a 350, a 450, and it's rated up that high to a class 5 hitch, which is really good. So now with my keys, I'll unhook it. Get underneath here. And there we go. And there it's off. As you see that, hopefully, in the camera. I just twisted the key and took it off. And now I'm going to lock that again, and I'm going to lock the balls, the 2 and 5 sixteenths and 2 inch balls on the other part of the receiver hitch. There we go. That's all on. And I can drive around with it. Isn't that cool? And I'll be feeling safe because I know nobody's going to steal it from me. That's so cool. Now hooking up the two, and two inch and two and five sixteenths ball. This is where this goes. And there you see it coming through. And then all I'm going to do is hook this up and on. And there we go. We're all connected and sealed up. And so now Mr. Truck is safe. He's got his hitch, his Gen Y torsion flex. Uh, locked onto the truck's receiver and he's got this ball, the, the dual ball set up, locked on to the torsion flex from Gen Y. I feel so good and safe. This is just the way it should be. Fantastic. I do like these locks.